Hey guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the folder structure of a Cypress project. You're watching Arame Now and I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. I already have a Cypress project set up, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code so we can take a look at that project together. So let me go ahead and launch Visual Studio Code here. Then I'm going to click here where it says Open Folder. Then I'm going to navigate to my C drive and the Automation folder. This is where I have the Cypress project. So I'm going to open this folder and click Select Folder. And on the left side here, we can see the folder structure for this project. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of these items so that we can understand what's going on here. So first we have Cypress here. This is the main Cypress folder. This is where the project is. And the first thing that we see here is this folder called Fixtures. Now the Fixtures folders is used to store your test data. This may include mocking data, API data, and so forth. Next we have Integration. The Integration folder is where your test files are going to be located. So any test that we write, we're going to store them in the Integration folder. And by default, when we install Cypress, we have these two folders here. Each of these folders contain tests that we can run. For example, this Getting Started folder has one spec file called To Do. And if I open this up, we're going to see the test that it contains here on the right. Next up, we have the Plugins folder. This plugin folder is mainly used to handle things that take place outside of the browser. For example, querying a database. Next, we have Support. And there are different things that we can do in this folder. For example, we can write custom commands or we can override existing commands. So we're basically modifying the existing behavior that Cypress comes out of the box with. Then we have this folder called Node Modules. And this folder is automatically added when we install Cypress. Next, we have Cypress.json. And this file is used for global configuration items. And we're going to learn how to use this file in future videos. Next, we have packagelock.json and package.json. Both of these files get created when we run npm init. Let me open this package.json file. And here we can see some basic information that this project has here. Well, that has been a quick introduction on the Cypress folder structure. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to learn how to install Cypress, please check out the video card above. And I'll see you guys in the next video.